right, check it out. Uh, so this is the flux plate off of my 302, 28 ounce. Got the small counterweight. Whatever. I even modified it at one point for a 10 and 5 eighths bolt pattern. This is the 11 and 3 eighths spread that is used here and is also used on the torque converter that's underneath the wagon now. Uh, so I didn't realize the pattern was the same. So there's enough thread sticking out here that with the right nut I could throw an eighth inch washer under each, each one and make up half the distance of my adapter plate. So I've seen some kits where you have to extend this thing because of the adapter plates like five eighths or five eighths or half inch thick so you end up having to extend all these parts out to make everything fit but looking at this with a quarter inch adapter plate um, and a standard flywheel flex plate uh, it looks like this is just gonna work um, yeah eighth inch washer and then a regular 3 8 by 24, I think it is, 3 8 by 24 nut. Actually, these might be metric, right? So 10 mil probably, 10, 10 by 1s. Uh, locking nut style. Uh, yeah, it looks like this should be pretty straightforward. And then I already marked out, I already marked out the red spot with the ink pen where I need to cut with the die grinder or cut off wheel, what have you. To clearance for the starter. <clears throat> so who knows? Maybe by the end of Sunday, I'll have that block drug over here, and uh, um, nestle the block. I'll have to clearance these holes first, certain ones. But I might be able to put one, two, three bolts in, kind of snug it together. And then I'll see what this guy looks like down here. I think these are 10 mil, 10 millimeter, uh, 10 by ones or 10 by point eights or whatever the size is. And I uh, might be able to snuggle it all together. See what happens. All right, so get some hacks on. We'll see if we can break this thing off here real quick. Hey, that worked. <laughs> there we go. Let me roll this thing back over. Alrighty, man, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we have the starter mounted, uh, flex plate on. I had to use this uh, C clamp, to kind of hold everything together because the starter's trying to pull the pull the, the uh, adapter off. But so let's take a closer look. Um, let's see here. I don't even know if you can see it. Uh, so yeah, so you got the bindex to the flex plate. So I pulled the flex plate out just a touch. So there's probably like an eighth inch gap on the back all the way around to kind of simulate what pulling it. And then I don't know off the top of my head how much the torque converter is going to come out. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those things I might have to mock it up. I might have to put a crank and that block over there and then uh, just smash like journal 3 and 5 together keep the crank from wobbling around too much and then um, bolt the flex plate to it <coughs> and then kind of smash all the pieces together and see what happens Ooh, the bee floating around here so yeah that's what a small block forward starter looks like mounted to a 6R80